is up, Bucks Nation. It is March 15th, 2024, Correct. and you're Marvel. watching the Loose Cannons podcast, and you guys are about to go down a uh, – this is an experience. Okay, We've never done a live mock draft where we are sitting in the GM's chair, and it just so happens that tonight I was unanimously selected to be head GM. And you two will be my assistant general managers. Of course, Latte's going to be my right-hand man, my consiglier. And Sank's going to basically be that, that, that scout that's yelling stuff from the back of the room when we throw coffees at him because we don't appreciate him actually chiming in. So, Well, you already made your first mistake because it's April, you dumb bitch. Oh, it's April. Oh, my God. It is April 15th, not March 15th. It's fucking real, bro. Hey, it's been a while, right? You anyway. Rusty, dude. You're rusty. I am rusty. So this is how it's going to work. Before I get started, actually, everyone hit the like button and hit that subscribe button if you are new. Because, I mean, who wouldn't want to tune into a show that doesn't know what time of, what time of year it is? <laughs> who wouldn't? <laughs> Plus, Plus just said only this show goes back in time. I mean, listen. Only. You know that, like, Samurai, the biggest Back to the Future fans. Like, of course. It makes yeah. sense. Part for the it is. It is so, what it is. This ad's going to work tonight. We're going to hopefully do three mock drafts over the next 10 to 11 days. Obviously, 10 days trying to get in before the draft. Um, yeah, 11 would be a problem, yeah, bro. Yeah, 10. So the, per the way we're going to make it work is every one of these mocks, one of us will be the head GM and the others will be the assistants. We'll go through the seven, mo uh, the seven rounds and we'll see if we can put together the greatest draft hall in NFL history, boys. Right? And I think we can. And we're going to use the amazing mock draft simulator courtesy mm. of PFF.com. Uh, check them out if you haven't already decided to pay them, I think, four bucks a month to be able to go all seven rounds. It's phenomenal. It's amazing. Uh, it's it's really fun. Anyway. Not all, all right, of us can last all seven rounds. Huh? You know, not, all, not all of us can last full seven rounds. Oh, oh, we, we're, we're, aware. Seven round, we're, we're, we're aware. That's fine. If you can only I'm go done. four, that's fine. Yeah. Four? Hmm. Yeah, I'm rocking the uh, Tristan Wirfs Cup today because uh, I believe – I believe he's had a child recently. Congratulations to him. And, of course, congratulations to Baker, his best friend, who now have two children who are going to be best friends as well for years and years to come as they play with their father's Super Bowl rings when they get a little bit older, right? It's going to happen. Right. Latte, I don't like the energy, man. If you're going to be my right-hand man tonight, I need you to be a little bit more pumped up. We're about to he's draft. He's the only focused one on here. He's, he's I'm, I'm ready. I'm you're locked ready? the fuck in for this ready? draft, bro. Like, I'm, locked in? I'm confused as to what you guys are all patty cake and all this shit. All right. Crap, bro. By, all the right. Way, oh. by the way, quick question. Do I have the best beard on the show now? No. Bro, no. my shit's, like, Not look close. good today. Dude. Not even hey, close. You look like you tripped chat. and you yeah. fell in the backyard into a pile of dirt and you... Uh, you ate it with the chin. Can and you we just get got a up? poll in the chat room right now? Who's got the best beard? Go. Stop, bro. It's not, even, it's, not even, it's not even a competition, bro. All Look right. So the, we're going to kind of put some rules on ourselves here tonight. So we're not going to initiate any trades that are insane. And maybe around, you know, pick 20, we might assess the situation. But more than likely, we're going to look at the ones that are offered to us. And we'll make smart decisions tonight. All right, boys. The screen is up. It is time. It's time. It's time to begin the draft. Um, good luck, boys. <laughs> get some, um, hey, good luck. Lotsy, can you get some draft music? Something? This is no. way too quiet. No, we don't need draft music. Here we go. And the Chicago Bears are on the clock. And they've taken Caleb Williams. The worst no surprise there. Yeah, no surprise, surprise there. And Drake May goes to Washington. J.J. McCarthy goes to the Patriots. Neighbors goes to the Cardinals. Joe Alt goes to the Chargers. Daniels is a giant. Didn't see that one happen. The Dunze to the Titans. The Falcons, who we hate. Marvin Harrison Jr. Holy sh ah. I'm going to pause. Uh, and Dude. Chicago gets Dallas Turner. Not, Whoa! Not, Marvin not, Harrison Jr. went to the fucking Falcons. Falcons. Fuck him. Hey, that's better than them getting Dallas Turner, in my opinion. You guys want that guy chasing after our quarterback or Marvin Harrison catching passes? Uh, Marvin Harrison, Drake London, Pitts, Bijan Robinson. What? What are you nuts, bro? I don't want any part of Marvin Harrison or Malik Neighbors or Roma Dunze in they Atlanta. Got, I think no. I need pick latte. They're gonna they're gonna get a good player. I feel like. Oh so. God! All right, Jets Ugh. are up. Jets, come on, Jets, take a tackle here. Yeah, Michael Bless. They, they, uh, they win the draft. Like what the fuck? They took Brock Powers. Okay. Uh, the Vega goes to the Vikings and tackle. Wow. And verse is gone. Uh, he's he's a Bronco. Graham Barton's gone. He's ball. a Raider. Who's throwing the ball in Minnesota? What? what? Uh, hey, the I Saints. Know. Pause it. The Saints. What did they do? They got a tackle out of J.C. Allen. J.C. Layton. Oh, 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 oh,
That's a good pick, man. That's good both pick. are terrible. So it doesn't really matter. A third oh, pair. You, hey, JC. Wh- whoever they draft that tackle is going to get worked by, you know, little A2. Lot hey, two. draft them. Right now, we're at pick 16. Okay. It's the LC Hawks. Have Can you quite pronounce a few numbers. The, uh, the Colts. And thing? Latu is still on the board. JPJ is still on the board. Ooh. Okay. I mean, we got some guys here. Uh, Cooper DeGene is still on the board. Oh, I love he's a white boy. I don't think any corners have been taken so far. So we haven't seen a run of that. Of course, this is just a mop. You know how this is going to actually play out. Remember, scroll back up. Yeah, I was going to say, just do a little quick quick recap. Go back up. You know, real quick. Yeah. Take your time, bro. A little bit of foreplay. Uh, it's going too fast. Bro, you're, you're, I can tell you're not about the foreplay. So, yeah. look, or the three four quarterbacks play. go right off the top of the board right there, right? I think J.J. McCarthy being gone is so weird that the the Vikings go to a tackle there. It's kind of odd. Well, wait, Samer, wait, Samer, because we have a comment in the chat about the beards. And it's Jonas Steckler. He says, Stank's beard looks like you've tripped over a branch while trying to throw a football to a Hall of Famer. It's very true. That actually happened. <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> That's really I- weird. Facts right there. This is lo- facts, one of his lowest facts. moments of his life. Listen, his- we all know the Patriots don't don't make that pick, right? They trade back and they trade back again. They continue to trade back. I don't know. Know. Last they they a, a, a last time they drafted a Michigan quarterback. Sink. Last time they drafted a Michigan quarterback. What happened? Yeah, They're gonna trade back to the seventh round and get him. Oh, okay. oh no, Drake, Drake May. Drake May went number two. Uh, Sir Pelagic, he went yeah. to Washington. No, is Drake Mace on the board? No. If it was, I would I would have to exit this site because it's absolute garbage at that point. And I would um, be trading. I'd be trading up. Yeah. Uh, trading. Look, a lot of look three tackles in a row there with Graham Barton going to the Raiders, Latham going to the Saints, and I don't know how to say that guy's name. Fashansu, Fashanu going to the Colts, and now the Seattle Seahawks, who I think could use a nice beefy center. Who do they go with? Who's throwing the ball in Denver though? Oh, so it's not going to be Jared Verse with the with the corner out of Toledo, Mitchell. Mm. They don't even have cornerback listed as their one of their mm. needs on PFS website. Mm. <laughs> Jacksonville Jaguars on the clock. Shout out to them for doing the same thing we did first, mm. going back to their original not broken jersey. Yep, don't fix yep. it's not fucking broken on the felt teams. You guys, are I, you know what? I can't wait till they come back with the two color helmet, the fade one. That thing was so hideous. All right, here we go. We're going to resume this thing. Um, the Jaguars select Troy Fatanu, the tackle out of Washington. A lot of tackles, man. No, that guy's a- and <laughs> another corner from Alabama going to the, the, the Bengals. And a guy Brian I have my eye on, Brian Thomas. Brian Thomas. Is that doesn't make much sense. They have Puka Nakul. I mean, I guess I guess Cooper, uh, Cooper Cup's going to a little that longer. That doesn't make any sense. They're not but, drafting. But, but that kid in that offense, though? You're pretty stupid. Yeah, I don't know if this is because it's best I, player I, I, honestly, possibly. honestly, if it was me, call me crazy, Sam. Or if I if I was the Rams, I, I'd rather have Lad McConkey. I'm just saying that's that's Cooper Cup 2.0 right there, bro. Can, just you imagine him with the Chiefs though, that kid. Oh my, oh my god, oh my that's god. why I've seen I've seen him mocked a few times. Jesus, oh. McConkey, 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 but whatever. Yeah, you guys know McCockney. what McConkey, McConkey. Anyway, um. I'm trying to think, man. All right, so the 20th pick, I paused it here. The 20th pick is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, so now, boys, let's, let's talk about this, okay? Huh? JPJ. They might be, might be interested in a guy like JPJ. I don't want that guy. I like the guy from uh, West Virginia. Okay. All right, so. <laughs> you would do that. Go ahead and stroke Are, that. Stroke are we him. calling the Steelers here? To try to jump up and steal up? one of our guys. We got a bunch of dudes on, on no. the table still. No, no. All right. Let's keep it going then. No. Oh, but Pelagic, do not trade up. We should put polls. Let the people decide, man. Let, don't, we're don't men of the up. people. Don't trade do up. Not, we're not trading up. I agree. All right. And the I Pittsburgh like- Steelers select Nate Wiggins, corner out of Clemson. Holy crap. This is going to be a tough decision for us in a few picks. Oh, here, man. Boys. Here Listen, we go. I, I wish I wish I wish Stank could do like an, an Irish accent and just you know scream, hold the line, don't trade. Here we go. Oh, the Ricky Dolphins Pearson is gonna fall to us. Select Byron Murphy out of Texas. Okay. And hold! now hold the Eagles. The, the, hey, JPJ could go right here. This could this could be Kelsey's replacement right here. This could be it. This could be it. Go ahead, break my heart. Cooper DeGene? Holy that's, crap. That's pretty, hey, that's pretty fucking nasty. That defense? 
That's pretty disgusting. Not gonna lie. They do need a some second night like that. Wow, bro. They, they, like they need guy. it. They need it. Wow, I that's not. dirty. Cooper, I don't like him. with that I'm, front seven. <laughs> I'm a stink. I don't like him, but it, uh, for that team, I think he he could be pretty useful. All right, I mean, the Vikings. Think about that. Think about that front seven. The pass rush. They got 45. They got Devin White, bro. Hundred million dollar man. It's nasty. Vikings pick number 23. Is Jason Light on the phone right now? Penix Jr. is still on the on the board, technically. Okay, so they didn't get their quarterback in that first pick at nine, Penix. I think it was. They, they can get Penix right here. They could probably get Penix here. We'll see what happens. Are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? Is PFF going to have them do it? Oh, they just broke I our agree. hearts, boys. PFF is on several right now. They broke our hearts, oh! boys. Wow. Oh, you bastards. Oh, 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 God. That was a pick, man. I can't believe that happened. We need to pause for a moment of silence, okay? Oh, my God. Pause the draft. I got to get my bearings here. Honestly, I don't know. What, I'm the assistant GM. You're the, you're the lead GM tonight, Samer. I, I I wouldn't know what to do here. This is fucked. Hey, the wheels our, board, fell off. our board still looks good, honestly. The board still looks really good, right? Mm. And I, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer that I'm not taking the center in the first round. Mm. Don't matter if it's JPJ available at 26. But the Cowboys, who have a terrible offensive line right now, aging and have lost quite a few guys, this might aging. be the pick. They have an Asian offensive lineman? No, Asian. <laughs> oh. They take Newton out of Illinois, one of the top defensive tackles in the draft. Yeah, that's a good pick, honestly. That's a pretty good pick. Green and Bay now, Packers. The Green Bay Packers. They can, they can go JPJ, too, is it, 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 right? No, no. No. They go Chop Robinson. Oh, no. Oh, this is the worst. Oh, thing. no. <laughs> this is the worst. Darius Robinson. Oh, no. Darius Robinson. Oh, Hey, hey, plus, really quick, who's the guy that you were talking about would be the best defensive player in this draft? I can't remember. Josh Quapo brought it up. Josh Q brought it up. You were tagged you. I know you know what I'm talking about. Plus, throw us a bone here, bro. Right there. That Wait. was Durazon Newton. Was it Newton? Newton? Yeah, was it Newton? Yeah. It was Newton. All right. Here are the options, take, boys. Take fucking Newton, okay? All right. Just here, take Newton. Here are the options, boys. We got Amarius no, Mims, tackle out of Georgia, okay? No. We got Kool Aid McKinstry, the quarterback out of Alabama. I think he's a playmaker. No. However, again, I'm not a big fan of taking corners in the first round. Unless they're really, really special. I don't think he's that special. And of course, Jackson Powers Johnson is available out of Oregon. Tyler Newbin, a Minnesota safety. We've had some good luck with that. Um, and Peyton Wilson, I think the best linebacker in this draft out of North Carolina State. Then you got the Oklahoma tackle, Tyler Guyton, who I believe was recently mocked to the Bucks, but moving him right. into a guard. Computer report, yeah. Peter report okay and ad mitchell the wide receiver out of texas who i think immediately comes in and becomes wide receiver three no questions asked and could potentially be the mike evans replacement and heir apparent in the future Hammer. 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 We much, scroll scroll back much, scroll back as, again let me see the, let me let me see a little much, recap real quick as much as i get chubbed up for jackson powers johnson salmon can we take a peek at what a trade back looks like what do the offers look like because no I'm trades man no, 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 trading up. No, we it's could trade, trade down. Up. We have we two offers, down. actually. So before we do that, hold on. What are the offers? The best available edge right now is Chris Braswell, who I think is too much of a project, not a big fan. And you still got Marshawn Nealand, who's, you know, 62 to 57 no, type no. pick. No. Darius yeah. Robinson. And Darius Robinson at 44. We have two uh, trade opportunities. Probably boys. trade back and still get Darius. What, 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 are the trade, what are the trade back opportunities? And I really, is Newton still on the board or no? Is he not? Of the board, no, he's been gone. He's he, he went to picks. Uh, he went to the uh, Cowboys. Yeah, they took him. That's that's the big boy too. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, the next best trade would be the Niners, who are thirty-one. Hammer, scroll up and recap the so we can everybody can see what's been taken ahead of us. What are you talking about? He did that already. Yeah, okay, but do it again. It's right, it's right he did it halfway through. Do it again. It's right there. It's all in front of you there. Uh, I think the last five picks basically broke our hearts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was tough. Yeah, that was so, tough. The oh, Niners yeah. want our pick, all right? They have the pick 31. If I'm taking one of those guys that we looked at, I feel more comfortable taking any one of them at 31, yeah. right? I'm, I'm team trade back right now. So let's give them 26. What's the offer, though? What's the offer? Right 31. now, it says that they're interested in the pick, so we have, to, we have to negotiate the offer at this point. We have a bunch of extra picks. I don't know if I want to get rid of 89 and 92 because I like how close together they are, right? I'm assuming you guys agree with me there. What are they yeah. giving us, though? They want the pick, so now we have to make them an offer that 
for in, in our best interest. They don't actually okay, make you an PFF offer. PFF thing makes no sense. They should make us an offer. What the fuck? They're yeah, all. They're all. All right, all right, Sam. We're ask, ask for their second. Yeah, ask for the second round pick. See what yeah. happens. They won't take that. But okay. we got to offer them two picks, I believe, to make it work, right? Okay, give them one of our thirds for their first and their second, and and our first. Correct. So they'll take ninety-two and twenty-six to give us thirty-one and sixty-three. What's 60, 63 of their second round pick? Yeah. Yeah. R run it up. Do it. Run it. Make Do that it. offer. We're still going to get run it. Either Darius Robinson or JPJ or Zach Frazier, one of, one of, one of the guys we could. I really like having 89, 92 because you could stack. Real, Did you do it? Player. No. I'm, I'm going to make the offer. 26 and 92 for 31 and 63. You ready, boys? I like it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is back with the same friend. They'll give up 124. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Should we ask for 124 too? We can get 31, 63, and 124 for 26 and 92. Let's do it. Ask them. Let's, ask do, them. It. Let's ask it. Let's fuck it. Let's ask them. Let's offer. First thing to say is fuck you. Dude, they accepted the trade. All right. Hey, All right, boys. We're, we're in business, baby. Hey, wait, hey, wait. You you pancake eat pancake eating motherfuckers? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my That's God. Cool. All right. Listen, All right. I know Jason Light's oh. watching the show right now. He is. Jason. We're giving him a blueprint Take right notes. here. Take notes. Hey. You, you got to be proud of us right now. Hey, cheers, boys. That was awesome. That was awesome. Woo! Woo! Well, what a rush. We could have asked for Brandon. We should have asked for Brandon IU. I heard man. there's meth in this, but. We should have. Uh, yeah, I heard there is meth in that. I don't care. Okay. Who cares? <laughs> All right. Draft has to continue. Go on. Here we go. The San Francisco 49ers take Kool-Aid McKinstry. Yes! A guy I did not want. Kool-Aid's overrated anyways. All right. right? Tyler Guten goes to the Cardinals. Didn't want him. Didn't want him. that is. Yep. Tyler. Okay, so so far we're doing didn't great. Him, didn't want him. Hey, Samer, I want you to know that Plus just said Jason Light wins GM of the year if he can pull that off. Samer, you're Samer GM, GM Samer of the year. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? GM of the year. <laughs> hey, I want to thank you guys. You guys are great assistants. I'll be honest with you. Let's not go sucking each other's dicks quite yet. Let's see who falls. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we got a few balls. That's right. All right. The Bills are on the clock now. All right. That's that's I, that's a receiver. That's oh, they take a Marius Mims. Oh, boys. Uh oh. We're, we're uh, listen. We're, we're bro. There's right a several guys on the board that we that we will take that we want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we moved down and we still stay in a very solid position. Wait, who the, who the hell are the Bills throwing the ball to? They don't, they need to protect their boy. All right, Ad Mitchell gone. Goes to the Lions. That is uh, wow. Yeah, that is a good receiver to add to that team. That's nasty, bro. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. They just All lost. Right. They just lost. Pick out. That's Oof. hey. I think our board still looks very healthy right now. I'm very confident. Yeah. And I'm happy with those guys at that spot at 31. Right. Yeah, the Ravens. I can't. I, I can't see who's left. All I can see is our picks. The Ravens took Lad McConkey, the wide receiver out of Georgia, and we are BFS is broken. <laughs> BFF is broken, bro. Hey, hey we gave Jackson Powers a run the card up. Run it up. Run it, it up, bro. It's it's it's, it's Jackson Powers, bro. You run guys it want up there? You guys want the wait at thirty one? Wait, wait. We got Zach Frazier. We got Peyton Wilson still. TJ Tampa, he's a 35th ranked type player. That's a good pick. Um, Sam, we'd, Sam, all be, we'd all be lying if the Zach Frazier pick wouldn't be best for us, right? It would be best for us. It'd be really good for oh, oh, oh. us. Stay, stay, hold on. Hold on. Huh. It'd be best for you guys because the content would be. Yeah. Uh, we're right. at 31. It's not a stretch to take him. He, he He's a little bit crazier. Than JPJ, but uh, JPJ is also no, 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 no. I, I'm listen. I, the only, the only, the only way I entertain passing JPJ here is if you think there's a pass rusher that might be better. Listen, I, if, if hold on, if we could trade up in the second to well, go we, get, yeah. But sure. Remember, we gained an extra pick in that second. We go 57 and 63 now, so we can really get two solid, solid players. I think there are centers that we can get later on. Plenty of them, honestly. And there's a really uh, nice handful of guards that we can get in the second pick. If we don't, uh, I think we should go with a playmaker here, boys. You got to convince me to go center, honestly, because I don't think I want to go center. Who's your playmaker? Don't Who's tell me play Tampa. Who's the best available wide receiver? Oh, that's what I was going to. We got Troy Franklin, got Roman Wilson. I think that's a little high for him. Are you going to update the. It's updated. Oh, my bad. All <laughs> right. So, so clearly I... it's Ricky Pearsall. Troy Franklin's a good receiver, man. You can, go uh, Keon Coleman. you can go Keon Coleman. That's a bit high for him, I think. It's a bit mm -hmm. rich for him because we might be able to steal him at 57 if he drops. 
Bro, hey, hey, I'm just letting you know, Sam. The, the you, chat, you, is you, you, chat wants on. me to take JPJ. Hey, listen, 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 listen. listen we're, we're, the chat, the chat we're, I just, yeah. I'm talking, Stank. Like, literally, bro, you made the trade and people were saying GM of the year. If you don't take JPJ here. <laughs> hey, remember, I passed chat, on wings. I passed on wings. Chat, bro, if you don't take JPJ, right, the boys. chat is going to fucking lose their yeah. minds, bro. I'm calling, is, I'm calling Mr. I'm calling Mrs. Powers Johnson to let her know. This is fun. Well, you're making the call? Make the I'm call. Making the call. I'm making the call. We're running it up to the... T- hey, Jackson. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is Sam Raleigh, general manager of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, boy. Hey, wow. call, you're going You're coming to Tampa, baby. You're it. coming to Tampa. Just call him, boy. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to change you over to guard. But we're, we're coming to... You're coming to Tampa. No, 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 no I'm just kidding. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right see you soon. All right, boys. Somebody, there it somebody is. Said, somebody said... The pick, let's, the pick is in. The pick is in. We take Jackson Powers Johnson at 31, boys. Oh, wow. Ah, yeah, but fuck, hey, also, fuck all you haters people, that were talking shit to me last all episode. The people right now, what else we got? Because it wasn't just JPJ. It was JPJ and a second round pick. And, and we got the 49ers second round pick. And we got their fourth we, round pick? We got the first round pick and we got their second round pick at 63. So now and we one, go 57. No, and there was no, 124. We got a fourth we round pick. Oh, one, and we got their 124th pick that they acquired from Dallas. When they traded and Trey, whatever his last name is, the quarterback. And we ended up with the best center on the board uh, in the draft. In the draft. Lego, Lego cookies in the chat says masterclass. Ma- right. Masterclass. And listen, right. I think Jason Light is probably going to be threatened after he watches this. I mean, who, who you just, you he just, might be, he might be threatened. System. Uh, Samer, do you want to talk a little bit since you uh, you've done a lot more draft breakdowns as far as the player that we're getting here in Jackson Powers Johnson? Um, I I know I mentioned last week, it's not just about the player and what he does on the field. Uh, the Bucks got a taste of what Ryan Jensen brings to the table as far as leadership on that offensive line, as far as setting the tone on the offensive line and the whole offense to begin with, because the offensive line is the engine that drives the offense, right? And when you have a guy like JPJ in the center there, attitude wise in the building, attitude wise that that aura like. Red's fucking Red's a legend here in Tampa and in that locker room. But Sam, as far as the player, what are we getting here? Uh, dude, we're, getting, we're getting a monster, dude. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> listen, I, I'm not a guy that wants to draft a center at 26, but at 31, makes sense. Guy comes right in. He's a starter, obviously. He's a monster. He's a beast. I hear he's a freaking amazing leader. He's smart. You got to be smart to play center, obviously. I don't. I, I don't need to say much. You, if you watch this kid's tape and you are anywhere. As, like, if you watch anything NFL draft wise, you know what this kid is. Like, it, it we nailed that draft pick right there, boys. Yeah. I'll take, I'll take, can I can I just tell you that in looking over his his uh and he's physical PFF profile, the, here are some of the adjectives you describe this guy. Ready? Big chest mm. and midsection, mm. dense player, very wow. who can anchor and quickly uh, quickly and effectively. I can't read destroyer of worlds type mentality. Very good grip strength. <laughs> what, oh, more do you grip want? strength. what more hey. do you want, man? Who doesn't love grip strength, by the way? Hey, pull, pull, uh, up the uh, pull, up, pull up so everybody can see it. You it's think I'm Neil, It says Neil, all Neil L in the chat. Don't make me block you, bro. Take that. Take that. Oh, he's obviously. No, no Diddy. He said, he said no Diddy. Diddy here. No, he no, says no. yes, Diddy. No Diddy. He Boys. says yes. We say no Diddy here. But we got to discuss something that just happened. What happened? I picked 39. Zach Frazier? Zach Frazier is a Carolina ah, Panther. Oh, God. That's, Ew. that's sad. Ooh, that's, that's sad. a price. That's a price you pay right there. That's I mean, it happened. Not he's Dave. He knew he knew he knew where to hurt us, where it would hurt. I mean, like he knew that broke her heart. Dave knew yeah. what he was doing there. That's messed up, Dave. You think that that our Zach becomes a closet Carolina Panthers fan? Of course he so. does. A hundred percent he does. I mean, we already know how much he He'll say something silly like, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, blood's thicker than water, son, or something like that from West yeah. Virginia. You mean up, in, the, up, up in these oh. mountains? Damn, how did the Green Bay Packers take Bo Nix? What? This machine is broken. Hey, that's what they do. <laughs> that's what they do. It is hey, what they do, though. It is what they do. It is what they do. It is what they do. It's on very realistic settings, honestly. Now, Peyton Wilson, best linebacker in the draft, in my opinion, going to the Texans. Holy, what? If that yeah. happened in real life, like that's literally on unf- it. That would actually be grounds to, to but, like hey, go to the commissioner's office. Fal- like, hey, Falcons in the clock. We got to pay attention. To they, t- they took fucking Marvin Harrison Jr. in the first. Jesus. They have some needs on the D line. I think they go D line here. They go D-line? tackle out of Washington. Wow. Wow. 
Okay. Hey, hey, listen. Xavier Leggett goes to the, the New Orleans Saints. Roger. Oh, my God. I didn't want to hate that kid. I really like that kid. I, did too, I didn't want to hate him. No, nah, I hate him. I hate his no. guts. He's dead to me. I didn't listen. like him before, and I don't like him now. All right, Why boys. wouldn't you like him before? Have you heard them talk? He's amazing. I don't like him. There's there's a couple picks ahead of us here. The Eagles and the Steelers. The <laughs> Eagles again, actually, and the Rams. The Cowboys and the Dolphins. And there's a player that I really want out of UConn. The guard, Christian Haynes. I don't think he's going to last until 57. I, I'd hope. But I'm just letting you guys know where my head's at right now. That's the kid I want. Who do you want? I want him. UConn guard out of uh, guard out of UConn. Christian Haynes. I think he's. You want to go stuck. center guard with the first two picks? Center guard. I That's like gold, it, bro. bro. The I mean, fattest, dude, fat guys, most gluttonous draft ever. Just hey. keep bringing them jelly rolls. Hey, we couldn't run the ball. You tell me we get the best center in the draft, and then we go and get Christian Haynes, who's running the exact same system and is an absolute road grader Dave, of a guard out of UConn. David R. R. Buckle. Says light is good at finding an offensive lineman later in the draft. No need to take him with the first. I see light trading down, maybe a few picks to get more draft capital. We need players at multiple positions. David, we did we trade did both. Down. We did both. We, we got both. the second we and an extra fourth. Yep. And we, we still got him. Right. Colts go corner. Uh little slot guy, nickel. Javon but Bullard, really good safety goes to the Giants. Chris Braswell, all the way down to 48. Tyler Newbin is a Bengal. Ricky Pearsall goes to the Eagles. Oh, oh. Michael wow. Penix Jr. Did they go back to back receivers? Didn't they take a receiver? No, with no, no, they took. Uh, no, they, they took, took DeGene, Cooper DeGene. And oh, the Dejean. Steelers get Michael they Penix Jr.? <laughs> what? That's a pretty good pick, actually. <laughs> After this, no, no, that's not happening. Just, just, just that's for not, Justin that's definitely not happening, bro. Hey, on, bro. hey what better way to shore up your bet, man? Think about then it. They continue <laughs> to add quarterbacks at every. They should just draft one every round. Bro, right. what the fuck? All right. what? Next okay. couple picks. Drunk as hell. One, two, three, four of these next picks, I'm afraid of losing our guy, all right? But let's see. Who's our guy, though? I, I, don't, I, I told don't Christian Haynes. Nah, wait, you gotta, I don't think so here. Wow. Braden Fist, Florida State defense alignment, goes to the Rams. That's an that's awesome another, fit. That's another dense guy. That's a, that's a great pick. That's good. That's good. Eagles player. on the clock. Eagles, what you gonna do? Eagles take Max on. Melton, corner out of Rutgers. By the way, boys, no joke. He might be. He might end up being the best quarter in this draft. Wait. Like this so the Eagles so went. Good. The Eagles. They had two second round picks. Yeah, they had two picks there. So they went. They went DB receiver DB. They're working on that secondary. Hey, it's a need. It's a need. All okay. right, Browns Zoom. are on the clock. James Winston. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Quarterback James Winston. for Jameis. They and they, they, they go defensive they line. And the, the Dolphins go Roman Wilson, wide receiver out of Michigan. Okay. These are flying off the board right now. Yeah, they're, there's a run right now. And Cowboys, hey, Cowboys can take your guard here. Cowboys, they, Cowboys can take any. Cowboys need a lineman. Literally every position. They can take your guard here. They, they can go running back, too. They I'm went wide receiver. A guard. Play Corum? Yeah. Corum? Corum? They went, they went wide receiver, Jermaine Burton. And, boys, we are on the clock. Good. Hey, okay, listen. Again. Oh, am, am I not wrong to say that Darius Robinson's still available? He is, thanks. So check it out here. We're going to look at Bro. the best available edges. Keon Coleman. Keon Coleman. Keon All Coleman. right. We got Addison Isaac, Jonah Ellis. No, Stank, your boy already went, by the way. I believe he went. Okay, there. I was going to say, there's no way he fucking fell. Marshawn <laughs> Neeland. I don't think he lasts till the 63rd pick. So if, if we want that edge rusher, I believe this is the pick to do it. If we don't, and we think we can get somebody else like a Javon Solomon or Muhammad Kamara later on, more of a project. I'll, I'll tell you what, though. If we want Keon, he's not making it past Buffalo. unless Hey, PFA hey let's see what, what's available at corner. Wide receiver, Keon Coleman. Jalen Polk, very good receiver. Uh, Javon corner. Baker out of UCF is a good one. Jamari Thrash, possibly. And then that kid out of Western Kentucky, this kid right here. Looks like A.B. when he plays. Malachi Corley. <laughs> Dude. Oh, he's good. He's good. Malachi. 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 Yeah. Malachi looks like A.B. Like, no, no joke. Sam, Sam what, 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 what secondary guys are available? All right, secondary guys. Um, Let's see here. We've got corners right here. we got Kyrie Jackson out of Oregon. I like him. Uh, Andrew Phillips out of UK. I also like him. We've got Renardo Green. Physical, fits the, fits the scheme, unless Todd wants to play more zone and not press. Plus says, I would go with Isaac Neeland or Ellis or Polk at wide receiver. 
Darius Miller says you can get a pick in the next six picks, you can get a wide receiver. I like I've told I like you guys. Newland. Is it I like TJ, TJ Tampa still available? No, uh, no. He went uh, I believe thirty second. Let's see where he went. He went Yeah, recap 33rd. recap who's been taking. He the went thirty third to the Carolina Panthers, believe it or not. Fuck. Yeah, Fuck Darius Robinson went thirty five. Dime Peace Dave. Damn it, Don Peace. God. Listen, I listen, let, I'm gonna run this by you guys, okay? Let's go. What if we went Neeland here? Okay, and then at that sixty third spot, we go wide receiver best available. Good, but Keon will be gone. I, I don't I, know. I, I like actually a- agree with Latte. I, right now, right now, if you want Keon, he won't be run. I think you take Keon right here. We got another pick coming up. I what? know, I know, but we're not going to get a very good edge at sixty three. We can get an edge now, and we can get Keon, Polk, Javon Baker, and, and obviously I don't want to reach on those other two guys on the bottom of that list, but I think. Polk and Keon Coleman, I think I think we'll, they'll be available. Go go they're back to get past Buffalo one dude. more time. Samer, go back to Edge. They're, they're not they're not going to get two of them though. Here, I'll go wide receiver and Edge. So if we look at this board, the best one available right now is Addison Isaac. <clears throat> Nealon fits the mold. Can play in space. Athletic. Uh, well, I like you. Oh, plus Keon Coleman can't separate. That, that is true. That that is an issue. I watched him. I don't know if I want to take. I don't care if he goes to Buffalo, but I do I'm, like Addis Isaac too. I think he's. I think he's better player than Nealon, in my opinion. Nealon has shorter arms. All right, let's take Isaac then. Plus, I think we, I think we take Edge here, man. Nealon is an Edge. That's player available. Addis Isaac Edge. I think that solidifies that spot. We got another pick in uh, five picks from now. We get the wide receiver available at the top of that one. I think we're in a good spot here, man. You guys in? Let's do it. I'm in. Lata, you're, you're my spy tech, boy. Come on. But what is up with you throwing ne- around? Ne- 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 Neil is a guy that I like, but if it's if, if everybody in the chat saying BPA, then BPA. Right. It would be, it here's would be here's how they describe Adesai. Fast, violent hands, swipes very well. <laughs> He's a swiper, evidently. He's a swiper. He's a swiper, yep. no swiping. Consistent hand play, hand placement. I can't read right now. Hands are consistent. They really love his hands at PFF. I mean, hands are a big deal, man. He, I, I like to get a violent player like that. I like Neilan too, but hey, what, what's his RAS score? Raz him I, up. Raz doesn't really matter too much in the second round, Stank, as it does in the first round. But I believe he's <laughs> crazy athletic. <laughs> I mean, you guys want to look at linebacker? Before- before Sam, before Sam got married, I swear to God, he'd take girls out on dates and he'd say, what's your RAS score? What's your RAS score? Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm dude, gonna... that determined how much I was going to spend on that date. I'm telling you. <laughs> let's see. Hey. Take, take the edge. and take let's the edge already, on. man. Call, wait, you got to call You got to call your boy. Adesai. Call him up. Adesai. Hold on, Adesai. Yeah, hi, Mrs. Isaac. Can I please speak to your son? I want to congratulate him on becoming a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. They're screaming. They're, they're they're having a big old party. Oh, wow. Lots of tears. That's pretty wild. Pretty yeah, awesome. hey, this is uh, Sam Raleigh, general manager of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I want to want to welcome you to Tampa Bay, baby. Yep. This is where the whole draft from Clive Stank. We all, we all yep. get up. We, we kind of yep. shake hands. Oh, yeah, in. I can't I wait. Yeah, <laughs> we're so guys. impressed with you. We cannot wait to get you in here and get to work. You're going to be an awesome addition to this team. Yep. Hey, all hey, right. Sam, 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 wait, wait, wait. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Coach is already drawing a place for you, bro. Yeah, yep. Todd, Todd is I – mean, I can't get him to stop jumping. <laughs> All right, we'll see you soon. Congratulations. Listen, there's a long, long lineage of Super Bowl Buccaneers who, you know, attended the great state – Penn State University. All We're right. Starting. Okay. Let's – Godwin. Let's go. Uh, Sanders just went. Tight end. Donnie. Uh, big tackle goes to oh. the uh, Texans. Here's where the receiver goes. Unless PFF is just dumb, because I don't know who the Bills are throwing the ball to. Keon Coleman is a Buffalo Bill. Keon Bills. Coleman? Good, I told job, you. Latte. Oh, no. Christian Haynes gone to the Lions. Shit. What a pick. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> hey. Two picks away. Damn it. <laughs> that hey, hurts. <laughs> we, we need corners. We need receivers. It's okay. It's okay. There's tons of guards. There's more guards down. There's more guards in the Midwest fuck, that fuck nobody guards. knows about. Yeah. Plus, Plesser said it's fine. It'll work out. And the Ravens take Jalen Polk. That was the guy I wanted to at that spot. All right. Here we are. Okay. Okay. 
Jonathan Brooks, Texas running back. If he's on injuries, I like, I like Brooks a lot. Oh, oh no! <laughs> That's not and, you, hey, and you guys know how I feel about running backs, but yeah, we I, do. I believe we had a press conference today, right? We could sprinkle in some 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 news. We had we had voluntary workouts. Everyone showed up. Because that's what we do. We're the fucking Buccaneers. We're one team, one unit. We're one fucking squad, okay? Every, everybody shows up the voluntary shit. But we had some press conferences, and Rashad White said he can absolutely be a bell cow. So, Samer, that's your boy. I don't, I don't think we need a running back right here. No, not a guy like this, because this no, is a don't. guy I think that needs the ball. A starter. He, yeah, he's not, he's not a split. Samer, pull up corners, corners and receivers right here. So, right here, we're in a, let's look at these corners. Oh, shit. Not running back. What the hell? Let's pull up these corners and um, wide receivers. I do have a guy in mind that I think would be a solid corner in this spot. So best player available would be Jalen McMillan out of Washington. I like the other kid a lot more. And Kyrie Jackson from Oregon, but I don't see him on here. Um, Bernardo Green. That's a kid I like, but we have a chance to get him at 89. So I don't know if we want to reach on him now So because I, I, it technically would be a reach. Um, what what edge what edges are available? We just Ellis is still available. Ellis what, and as we go back to back pass rushers and Neyland. Hey, why why not? And Neyland. Bro, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, no, no. Okay, what, but, we just, but we just took the best through. available one there for a reason. I don't I don't care. Double up, dude. Here go. Who's on the <laughs> tier defensive line? I'm, hey, as your assistant GM here, I'm saying Neyland, and I'm not having I'm not entertaining any more conversation. Okay, run the fucking pickup. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> Think about what? This. Hold on. Let's think about linebacker. We have a need. Okay. We got Edger and Cooper and Junior Colson from Michigan. I think these guys are two solid guys. I really like Cooper. Reminds me too much of, of a certain number 45, though. That's the only problem there. He says double listen, up on edge. I'm saying double up on edge. And listen, listen to me very carefully, Sam. You're playing devil's advocate. It's what you're supposed to do, right? I want I'm gonna get all angles before hey, I take hey, this bite. But St- Stank and I spent a lot of time a couple weeks ago. With some people. And I'm going to tell you this, bro. You can't fix every fucking thing in one offseason. You can't fix every single need in one draft. Take the fucking best player available. As your assistant GM, I'm telling you, take fucking Neyland. Run the pickup. I'm not speaking on it anymore. That's all I'm saying. Stank wants to throw his... Corey says Kyrie Jackson. I really like Kyrie Jackson, man. He says he's got to be the pick. He fits a need. But hold on, Stank. Hmm. We have... Our guy is still on the board Hmm. in... One Renardo Green, who I believe will be available at 89. So if we really want to play our chances here, I think if we pass on Kyrie here, which I know he'll be gone in a few picks, we still could get Renardo and sure up that cornerback spot. We got Jonah Ellis, we got Marshawn Nealon, got Adrian Cooper. Those are the top three best players available right now. I mean, I, I like doubling up on edge, but you know, it's Kyrie Jackson if you're nasty. So I mean, it's your choice ultimately. You know, you can. We're gonna take me and the chat and Latte's opinion here, but really, it you. This is your draft. It what is your draft. You feel whatever you feel like. It's is the bottom of the second pick. round, okay? And what yeah. what what have we heard from a lot of people that you will eventually take a corner in this in this uh, in this draft in the second round? Was it wide receiver yeah. and corner before the end of day two? Right before the, before the end of day two, which that's we're in day two. But I really like I really like Renardo Green. I think he fits well. So if I if that's my guy, and I don't think I really need to reach for not reach, but for taking Jackson here, I might still get my guy, but he might also be gone too. In terms of uh Green. Man. Just for just a reminder, Zion McCollum. Just 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 reminding you. Zion McCollum is is, and and I'm and I'm and I'm just reminding you, uh there was once upon a time, and this this still is to a certain extent, but there was once upon a time that people wanted to run Dean out of here until Bowles got with him in the film room and helped develop him. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, we better not fucking let him go. We better pay him. But just, after, okay, that's just, right. just, oh, hold on. Let's hold say on. Zion I'm, pans out. I'm, I'm, Who's just, behind him? I'm just saying Todd is very good at developing corners. Uh, uh, for for as much as people hate Zion, I get it. Year one. Was I don't hate him. I don't hate him. I'm just okay. talking, I'm talking in generalities, bro, because I saw it all over, all, all over Twitter today. When Zion spoke and he's like, I'm looking forward to making plays. People are like, what the fuck? It, the rea- there's a reality where he may be a fucking starter. He was a starter last year, to be honest with you. Between Carlton and Dean Meeson games, he was fu- but, he played fucking uh, how much did he play, Sam? I don't know. He played he played a shit ton, and yeah. he wasn't horrible. He was a lot better than his rookie year. So but, let's. I'm just saying. Here's the thing, too, and Peter or Pelagic, if Peter brings it up, Dean probably not here after next year. No, probably not. Hundred percent. So, 
man. But again, think- you can't fix everything in one fucking draft. So there's going to be some linebackers they- available, and I think Renardo players. Green's going to be available. Man. I got <laughs> to make, make this with a, with a dollar ninety nine super chance. So we got four picks in three rounds. How many are fat guys? All of them so far. I think Green will be there. Evidently, my air horn is not working anymore, guys. I, but you know I, what? But I cannot pass. I can't pass up on Kyrie Jackson this late in the draft, man. I just cannot. That's. I like the pick. I respect it. I respect it. As your assistant GM, I can. I can bitch. I. I, hey. I want to on Leland. Leland, but I, you know. Latte. Does this not feel like a Todd Bowles corner? Six three, one ninety five. One thousand percent, dude. What do you yeah. run? Probably like a, a low four 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 three. I guarantee. Uh, you. Guys, I'm making the pick. I, I know I want Renardo Green, but I can't pass up on Jackson right now. We got linebackers out the ass in this draft. I think we can also still add guard and center, no problem. And here's his bio: physical player, likes to get his hands on receivers. Yep. Mm. Hates the Saints. It says it on here. That's so <laughs> hates weird. the Saints. Length. I, 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 wait, wait. No, I already I made the pick. That's all I need. That would have changed my entire viewpoint if you would have said get rid of his profile. Hey, he his, his, his length is a huge plus. He's long. We, we, you know right. what I'm saying? If you know what I mean. He long. He's long. Hey, guys, hey. mirror. He's guess, impressive in the mirror, it says. You guys, guys want to cry a little bit? Neelan just went to the Panthers at 65. Fucking Dime Piece Dave, dude. Dime Piece Dave is haunting us in this what mock draft. What the fuck is he doing, bro? Jesus. Damn it. He cuffed us in every single pick. Every single one. This is this it's is almost the ghost. Like he's watching the show. The right ghost <laughs> the, the ghost of Dime Peas past. <laughs> I hope I, I hope Neilan doesn't make us pay for that, bro. I really do. <sighs> all right, all right. We got a few picks here before we're up at 89, which I really like Ellis. that spot. There goes Ellis. Ellis is gone. Jenkins, that's a good pick to Washington. Brandon hey, hold Trice. up, Sam. Before, before you keep going, look, recap what we've done so far. Like we just got a free second round pick, another player we wouldn't have had because and you, a fourth. Somehow pulled a miraculous trade in the first round. People who are just tuning in, let them know what just happened. All right, we traded with the 49ers, and we gained an additional two picks by moving down from 26 to 31, where we selected Jackson Powers Johnson, arguably the biggest drop of this draft so far. Then, short stint later, pick 57, we take the best available edge rusher in Addison Isaac out of Penn State, who I think has the potential to be as good, if not better, than Chop Robinson, and is not getting as much run because Chop Robinson... Is everyone's sexiest pick? And then a few picks after that, we get Kyrie Jackson, quarterback, probably pushing to be a starter at some point during the season. The 49ers like, pick. We, we, we got with that. With that 49ers pick. And we still have the 124th pick from the 49ers as well down the line. And we go back to the draft. Cardinals are on the clock. We got to speed this up, man. We That was that was good so far, boys. <laughs> Jonathan Brooks goes to the Cardinals. Jaden Hicks, safety goes to the uh, Jets. Fills the void left by Jordan Whitehead. Uh, running back there. Blake Corum goes to the Falcons. That's that's ugly. Uh, Javon Baker goes to the Bears. Austin Booker goes to the Broncos. Spencer Rattler goes to the Raiders. I kind of felt that was going to happen. The logic Peter says, JPJ, Isaac, and Jackson with our first three picks. That should give everyone some blood flow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. and not, a, not a lot of run on these corners. Look, we we I don't know if any one of these guys end up you know taking the guy that we end up taking, but Kyrie Jackson, but first corner since our pick is at pick 80. Andrew Phillips out of Kentucky. Gabriel Murphy, edge goes to Seattle. Getting close to our 89th pick, guys. Michael Pratt, quarterback, goes to L.A. Johnny Wilson finally off the board. Hey, stop real quick. Hey, stop real quick. And, and Jeremiah see, Trotter we, Jr. Go ahead. Wait, do we, do we want to – is there anybody that we, we, we're, we'd be tempted to move up for right now? That's slid. Who's, who, show us the big board. Just let me do that. Hey, Case is not trading up. I mean, we have an extra pick now. We got, we got a little ammo to, to move around with that we wouldn't have normally had. We have two thirds as well. We have that mm-hmm. extra ammo from the Carlton Davis mm-hmm. trades. We have that. I mean, moving up to 86. Uh, I don't know if you want to give up. I don't know, man. I mean, we do have back to back picks in 124 and 125. Put the, put the, put no, the, no, he's saying, he's saying who's available. You got to show who's put available. Put the sense. big board up there. It doesn't, it doesn't show me the big board. That's the problem. Wow. It's the only it's the only thing annoying about the the, the mock draft machine it doesn't show you who's available still. Shit. That sucks. Well, that defeats the purpose of that. I would have traded up for Jeremiah Trotter Jr., but he's already taken. So the two uh, the Darius is saying we traded that extra third. No, we, no, we, didn't. we didn't. No, this is accurate. All right, the Texans get the wide receiver that I wanted. Okay, out of Western Kentucky, good player. Malachi, Jesus, the Texans. 
Yeah. What the? F- I like how Pless is run- Pless is running the show from the back. He's like, it's fine. Keep it rolling. It's fine. <laughs> fine. Green it's fine. Bay Packers <laughs> take Christian Mahogany. That's a good guard. That's a guy I like. Now, guys, we're at pick eighty nine. There's a guy on this board here Crash the sun. that I really like. Trey Benson. Be a nice combo with the... Uh... Yeah, but Cameron Kitchens, a safety out of Miami. Stud. Okay. I love Cameron Kitchens. Renardo Green is still here. <laughs> we could have waited and taken him, but I think we couldn't pass up Kyrie Jackson. So that was a good pick. Yeah, Cedric Van Pran, the center out of Georgia, who I really like. He's an absolute monster. He's got a little crazy in him, which I like. But we already got a center, so we don't have to worry about that. But yeah, underneath him at 94 there, <clears throat> Mason McCormick, the guard out of South Dakota State. I don't think we drafted enough fat guys, Stank. We also got to walk out of here before the end of day two with the receiver. And Brendan Rice is... Yeah. Scroll down. Scroll down. Who else? Let's let the pop. I'm with Eight you on that. Guys. Keep scrolling. Uh, that's another good center out of Arkansas. So I'll just keep the top. I'll just do all positions. So this player yeah. available. Bucky Irving, by the way, a good running back at Oregon. I just don't think we needed to go for a running back at this point. Um, Trey Benson did too. And a different kind of running back. We don't even win this early. Tight end? Can we go tight end right here? Get yeah. our guy? See, seal the deal? I mean, there's that Washington kid that's really good, right? Yeah. We have four trade opportunities. We have four trade opportunities. Okay. Oh, the Bengals are at 97. They want our pick. I don't know, man. I feel like we should just stick stick where we're at and get 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 a big guy to, to play alongside our new center because we don't have a guard really on the left side there. A lot of people asking for McCormick here. Yeah, I think I want to go McCormick too, guys. It makes sense. The only guy who could change my mind is is Brandon Rice. If you guys can convince I mean, me to take a wide receiver here instead of him, then I'll do it. Is but, is Van, does Van Pran have guard? I believe so. He plays center. Uh, I think he center move, flexibility. I believe he could move to guard. Why not? It's kind of the same position, honestly. If you think about it, less mm, less responsibility. No. Less responsibility. It's not the same position. Less responsibility. I, I'm listen. I'm with Stank. Fat guys. Yeah, I like Mason McCormick too much to pass him up. We put that guy in front of Jason Powers, John Jackson, Mason McCormick, Rashad, Rashad White's going to have himself a season, right? <laughs> Bro, imagine, imagine rushing to the left side. Of, I mean, McCormick, Worfs, JPJ. Oh Jesus Christ, and, bro. And before, before you, he's and you a can small, pull, South Dakota State, pull. small school guy. We know Jason Light, like, likes that. It's yeah, yeah. It's Jason Light pick right there, man. Hey, he's so small that there's no analysis on the guy. And in South Dakota State, oh, run it up. Are the Jackrabbits. They're the Jackrabbits. Run, run it up, bro. Run it up. I, that's the pick. Let's do it. Is that even a profile on him? That's South a, that's Dakota, Dakota State, State Jackrabbits. No profile. That's the pick, baby. Oh, hey, look at hey, look at Plus. I fucking love it. Hey, nine point nine nine. Oh, take it all day. I love that Raz score, baby. <laughs> Raz it up, baby. Raz it up. Raz it Chad, up. Chad Wathen in the chat says, "Der, ner, ner, der." Renardo yeah. Green goes to the Ravens. That's a good pick. For Appreciate that, bro. that, bro. But 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 quality. Do any of these guys have any Riz? Everyone I draft has Riz, bro. Come on. What does that mean? Somebody explain that to me. You're too old. Sorry. You're you got old man hands. You're too old. You got old man hands. You don't know what you know. You know what's <laughs> you have old man hands. Can we can you go full screen? Something what I've happened? noticed that you my got the freckles on his hands and stuff. What happened, bro? There's like a liver spots and shit. What the fuck? I don't know how oh, you're hey, getting hey, white. The Panthers took fucking Brendan Rice. <laughs> fuck you, Panthers. God damn it. What is going <laughs> on in this mock draft right now? The Panthers are fucking haunting us, bro. Jesus. Time Peace Dave is what destroying us in this draft. He's Fucking breaking our hearts at every turn. My God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Unreal, dude. Unreal. What is going on? Dime See, people? that Bo Limmer kid out of Arkansas, if we didn't take JPJ, that's a great pick right here. We could have taken. We could have taken Van Pran here. You guys seen what I'm talking about when I say you don't have to take a center very early? You don't have to, but it was still the right pick. That, at it, was a good, it was the right pick. I agree. I, I agree. We got a few here. Uh, got one Corey, more. Corey, that's a plus question. I think I think you can. That was Ray right, David. Listen, Michael Pless, I know you don't like Kyrie Jackson being 25 years old as a rookie, but you know what? He's got a lot of – he's seen a lot of routes, all right? I like a guy who's seen a lot of routes. He's got a lot of routes yeah. under his belt. I like that. As a safe, like as a corner, too. I like well, that in a corner. 
That's you know, I'm sometimes saying. sometimes you need a mature man in yeah. the locker room. You know, we need to bring some maturity to that fucking. We, right, oh, sure. we have no maturity. We just lost Carlton Davis, the old head. You bring in an old corner. You draft an old corner to make up and for like, it. And you can't put enough. You can't put enough of an emphasis on the fact that his profile says he hates the fucking Saints. He hates the Saints. <laughs> That's it, bro. Oh, That's look at Michael thing. Pless. Look at Michael Pless. I question his character, too, though. I mean, what are you, you trying to ruin this kid's day, Michael Pless? He just got selected to an NFL team. You want to rain on his fucking parade, Pless? I mean, the nerve on this guy. I, I just, he was on Alabama and got suspended. Well, you know, that's because fucking uh, what, Alabama, what, dude. What's, what's his yeah. name? Who's his name? gonna play? Who can play for Saban? The guy's a, a dictator, Saban, man. Yeah. Come on, Saban, Saban quit, bro. He okay. probably said the, he probably said fuck one time in a meeting, and and he and he suspended yeah. him, right? In a, uh, in a meeting, in a meeting, yeah, because that's what that's yeah, he, what they say. Yeah, that's what they call said, what, what, what they say that, that you can't you can't be thanking God after you score a touchdown, then be drinking drinking and smoking on the corner after. Yeah, and, right. and, and Jackson said, you know what, coach? Fuck you, I'm leaving. I'm going to listen, Oregon. Listen, guys, we're up. <laughs> They're waiting for us to make a pick. <laughs> we got oh, back to back oh, picks shit. here. What? Right. We got back to back picks. One twenty four, one twenty twenty five. Okay. Samir, hold on, Samir. <laughs> Luke Compton says a keep to are not all right. But we're gonna slap That's a cast. Hey, taxi a keep to hey. Super Bowl champion. Okay. Bowl did, champion. Wait, thank you. Did Jackson and his mama go out and and bust a cap on somebody's ass? Because that's what no. I wanted. No, they didn't. Plus, if, if, if their mama's got it, I want them. Listen, plus, I don't care what you think's on our board because I'm general manager tonight. All right. <laughs> And I got these two yeah. fine gentlemen as my assistant. He's on Samer's board, guy. Hey, He's can, on my can board. We get, hey, can we get somebody who likes to catch balls? Yeah, like right here. Malik in. Washington is yeah, the guy Malik I want Washington. in this spot. Slam dunk. Put it, put it in. Malik. Latte, you, you have a problem with that, Latte? You want to tell me he's got character I, I, issues? Plus, you want to chime in here? Make I, this kid's I, I, day I bad? Like I like guys that like, it, like to get hands on balls, but I have no idea who he is. Maybe you can Oh, Malik me. Washington is a dog, okay? How this do you guy, know everything about Malik Washington? This guy... Listen, I'll I'll pull up his pull hey, up right here. He's a he's a Virginia guy. So we know we already know Rondé Barber probably has a little insight on Latte. It. Compact build with 138 good targets, 111 receptions. Okay. Excellent hands. I mean 12 and a half here? yards per what, reception. What, what, he's a what, he's five eight. He's fucking tiny, bro. He's tiny. So, so we're what? drafting, we're drafting fucking Trey Palmer all over here. But he's fast. Oh. No, no, this kid is way different than than than, than Palmer. He's smaller than Trey. <laughs> yeah, and he's fast. Oh, no. he, he, I think. Wait, what, what's the other tight end? Don't don't run it in. What's a, what's the tight end? What's available tight end? Is there a tight end still there from Washington? What's going no, on there? Let's go check out. Let's go check out these tight ends. Yeah, there are tight ends available. I've I've been saying we need a tight end that can stretch the field and change things. Ben Sanat is there at one thirty three. But remember, boys, we got two picks. We got one twenty four and one twenty five. So it don't matter. Really, we can take two guys. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm taking Ben. Sinat. All right, I'm taking Malik Washington. Oh, you son of a bitch. No, and, then, uh, and then we're going to get... You, why, why do you want my input? Why the fuck do you want my no, input? No, we're going to get Sonata in the very next pick. We have 124 and 125. Oh, we're back to back? Okay. That's what I'm saying. We're back. good, boys. We're good. It's okay. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. good here. I think we take the shifty Malik Washington, and we bring that speed. Remember, we need a punt return, or we need a kick returner now, because the kick return changes. Mm -hmm. The rules you are different. You know what I like about this? We need a guy you know like, like this. You know what I like about this? Sanat looks like a skull crushing crazy motherfucker. The fact that you took Williams ahead of him, you'll be like, what, 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 what am I fucking chopped liver? I need All to right. piss him off. I need to piss him off by piss one pick. Off. You yeah. fucking pissed him off by one I pick. want him to recite the names of the guys that got picked before him and one of those he's guys be to. in the locker room oh, he's right next to him. Right yeah. next to him. Right next he's to him. He's like, you, you little shit from Virginia. Yeah. Malik Washington, that's the pick. We got ourselves a wide receiver to add to this very thin wide receiving core. A guy with speed, a guy with great hands, a guy who's used to being the man and his absolute dog. And I, this, this is a great pick. And of course, now Latte, I'm gonna I'm gonna satisfy your tight end urges. All right, mm -hmm. your urges for a tight end. Well, I'm gonna satisfy I, them. I love tight ends. Yep. I love and I'm going Ben and I at Kansas State. I love Thornton. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Here we go. What's, what's up? Say? What's up, LDE? What, what's oh, up? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, hold the phone. Does he have character issues too? I need to worry about here. Benson, who? Benson. Trey who? Benson. Trey Benson. What? No, he's gone, dude. No, he's gone. No. What, 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 did you, the did best you available a... running back, in my opinion, would be Will Shipley. But, nah, no. Not taking him over a tight end who could change change the field right here for me. All right? Did, did you fucking stroke out, Stags? Like, go, what are you talking about? Go, go best player available, man. He's like, I don't even know what's going on. What the fuck is going on? Tyron, Tracy, you want to take a running back out of Purdue right now? Let's look at, his, let's look at his measurables, right? Kid's decent. 
Don't get me wrong. Kid's decent. Mm-hmm. Doesn't have good hands, in my opinion. Six foot one, two ten. No, no. I, if I'm getting a running back, I want a big boy who's going to tackle with with his face. Latte and me agree on this pick. It's going to be Ben Sinat, Stank. I'm sorry, it's but it's got to be. It's got to be the best tight end available right now. We need him. Or should I go people quarterback? Are, people are laughing at Stank with the LD. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm going Ben Sinat. Sinat, bro. Yeah, that's the pick. We're going. And Doctor Pless agrees. Sinet is awesome. He is. Yeah, he immediately becomes a starter. No problem there. No, and like, no questions asked there. Uh, no, plus those, no, Kate is Hey, we got a ways to go. We got 91 teams now <laughs> until the next pick. So, I believe we're going to Hey, it might be a good time to call both of these guys and let their families know that they're hey, both. You might want to let them know. You're no, you anything. know what, Sank? You know, we're, no, we're, you we're in the call, Sank. Yeah, you we're in the call. depth of, you know, we're in the 124s, oh, 125s. Shit. That's your that's your, oh, that's your territory to make these calls. Hey, hey GM, uh, Mr. Mr. Ali, are you sure you want to let him? He can't even make a fucking proper pot of coffee, bro. You sure? Yeah, yeah it's, it's fine. Hello? It's fine. Is this? He's got the draft phone. Holy shit! The bucket of wood. Hello, hello. I think we got a bad connection. They hung up on me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the sure. fuck just happened? Oh sure wow. Man. Why'd you go back to full screen here? What's going on? Oh, uh, I just went because we got seventy-seven teams ahead of us right now. <laughs> Should I speed this up? So, so what do you hey, think? About the you know, you know? What are your thoughts on the draft so far? We got, we got, we got JPJ. We got, mm-hmm. we got Isaac. Right. We got. Jackson, the corner, right? We got two. Uh, we got Jackson Powers, and we got Jackson. We got two Jacksons. Yeah. Very Jackson heavy draft. We got a receiver that draft, apparently yeah. can separate as a little joystick, but you know, a dog apparently, and we got a fucking tight end. I, I like what's going on. No running back, but it's cool. Well, these guys are arguing in the chat that my Ryan guy Ben Sinat would not be immediately tight end one. He would be tight end one by the end of camp. No questions asked. The kid is just an absolute playmaker, and he's still learning how to play tight end. No, no offense. That's to Kate probably Otten. why. That's probably why he won't be starter. But he he's gonna be the starter. I'm sorry, he's gonna be the guy that they they throw the ball to. And Frank Gore Jr. is off the board. Goes to the Green Bay Packers right before our 220 20th oh, pick. Shit. No okay. diddy. Grizz just says stinks on the Glizzy hotline. <laughs> oh, the Wait, is there another? Is there up, another oh, Jackrabbit oh. available? Isaiah, Isaiah Davis? Another? Can we go back-to-back Jackrabbits? What's going there, on here? There is a Jackrabbit available. There's also Trey Taylor, safety from Air Force, who I like. And there's also Dylan McMahon, center. I mean, again, another, another more proof for you guys. See, there's a good center right there in, what, the sixth round, fifth round here? Sixth round, yeah. Um, and then there's David White, Jr., wide receiver out of Western Carolina. I think we just picked a guy very similar to him, so I'm not sure we really need to go down that road. No, sorry, not similar at all. This guy's I'm, six I'm feeling, I'm feeling patriotic, bro. Take fucking Trey Taylor. You want to take safety here, Stank? What, what do you think? Oh, that. I mean, I don't know uh, anything about that guy. We only have one, we only have Whitehead for one year. You know what I mean, I, don't I, know. I like Isaiah Davis though. Good, good change of pace back. I said, we do need a I running back, Jack Rabbit. We we yeah. do need a running back. But do we, we do double dip in the same school like that? Of course. He already knows how to run behind the fucking fat guard that we got. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, he knows his ass. He knows his ass really well. He knows well. his ass. He's like, yeah. I know I I hug that right cheek. So also ass have, ass similarity or a, ass ass uh what, what's the word here? Ass, uh, ass knowledge, ass familiarity. He's a, he's a ass bigger familiarity, guy. yeah. One, two twenty. That's that's a that's a decent sized back right there. That is a yeah. big boy. That, and that he knows is the, yeah. What are we doing here, boys? I'm gonna have to lean on you guys. You guys are I feel like I listen, I'm cool with Trey Taylor and I'm cool with Isaiah Davis. I'm a pelagic. A Jack Rabbit running back just sounds natural. It does. It just sounds right. Yeah. Or do we take guard? Do we go guard here and shore up some of our depth in that in that position on the field? Because we we signed some guards this offseason. I, right? I know. Yeah. I know. I'm just let's playing devil's advocate here. Got a couple of guys in here that come in and play. Got a kid it's out of Florida. It's in the sixth what's round. Up, take, what's up, take with, a what's up with the what's up what's up with the uh the running back from Ohio State that was out there? Meon Williams. I don't know about yeah. enough about him though. I'm sorry. I don't. Plus, oh, Plus says you want to best against loaded box. I love a guy who can handle a loaded box. Don't I you guys? I love a guy who can handle a loaded box. Everyone's I, I love a jackass player. I, I'm with the fucking, I'm with, I'm with Isaiah Davis. What happened? All little Jack Rabbit action. A Jack All Rabbit who's set. effective against loaded box. <laughs> you guys know how Jack Rabbits get down, right? <laughs> they know how to load a box. Yeah, they do. They All get right. down. I, I'm going to Isaiah Davis it's Isaiah yeah. Davis, bro. Yeah, let's Double go. Jack Rabbits. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's get this guy who know, has ass familiarity with the guard Love in front it. of him. Love it. Who's a glass eater himself. All right. We got one more pick left here. 246 coming up pretty quick. 
Uh, this one here, I would assume most of the time you're just picking in the seventh round this late. You're picking who you think is a guy you're going to sign as an unrestricted free, uh, an undrafted free agent anyway. We got a tackle out of USF available. I feel like that's a feel good story. You got Tua's brother out of Maryland available. You got another tight end there. You got Rasheen Ali, cousin of mine, plays ball like an absolute stud. Okay, we can go. Hey, we can go quarterback. Carter Bradley out of South Alabama. Just a guy in here, a project coming here, immediately beat out. What's his name for uh, that that backup role? Don't you plus, guys think? Plus, I'm sorry, I can't draft another tackle with the first name Donovan. Yeah, we can't. It's super. We had a, won a Super Bowl with another Donovan tackle. So. Ah, but this is a hey, this is a feel good story. This is a homegrown kid. This is from Tampa. Yeah, I, I'm leaning towards Jennings tackle. It brings it brings us some depth. All right, we don't have that really you know terrible you know guy what? that used you know to swing what? in. You know what? Is, is he a right tackle or left tackle? I don't have no idea actually. You know what? I, I, li- plays, I like it. He plays like whichever it. side we tell him. He's going to be I a like backup it. on both you know, sides. You know I like it because, you know, gadecki has got to show us one more year. You know what I mean? He, it was a rough a, first year. Good second a, year. Really good second year. Yeah, he's, he's played zero snaps at right tackle. <laughs> Sorry, one <laughs> snap at right tackle in three years. Well, he got so, better as the season went on. Yeah. He's, he's got pretty good grit. I mean, he's got 14 hurries. He's, he's, he's in the seventh round for a reason, guys. But uh, he got better as, yeah, as the season went on. Uh, I'm going. This is the pick. He already knows the locker room. You know, he knows the field. He knows the, field. He knows the stadium. Exactly. He knows the stadium. I, I, this is it. This he, is the he can play in the heat. He can play in the heat. He's a hey, seventh let's be, rounder. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Some of the free agents we signed this offseason, I mean, he's showing them around. Like, hey, oh, you want vending machine? Come here. This way. Come on. Come on, boys. <laughs> it's true. This guy's six foot five, 330 something pounds. What are we Jesus. talking about here? I mean, Jesus. this is the guy who's going to come on the podcast and beat the, the shit out of Stank like last year when we had, uh, what's Girl his name? says oh, Donovan, Donovan's win rings. So, especially here in Tampa. Donovan Jenkins, or Jennings, sorry. <laughs> Donovan Jennings, come on down, baby. <laughs> You're buck. You're staying home. Is oh, anybody calling? Or no, this is one that, that, that's like a draft party at home, right? This is definitely not a green room situation. No. He's not walking out hugging the commissioner, right? No, no, no. No, no. a feel-good fan gets to announce the, announce the pick. But that's how this happens. In some... There it is. Oh, it's grading it. Draft. Grading it. There's our pick, boys. I, I feel great. like... I feel like we nailed this. Uh, let's let's go over what we did here. So in the first round, we found ourselves with a plethora of picks that we thought fit the bill. So we said, let's move on down. We were offered the 31st hey, nice. pick from the 49ers. And so we took that. We also took their ah. 63rd pick and their 124th pick. Gave them our 92nd and our 26th. We moved down. We select our next starting center in Jackson Powers Johnson. Okay. Look at our, look at our draft grade. I mean, then we go 57th pick. Pick we already had, by the way. Addison Isaac, Penn State edge rusher, immediate need, satisfied right there. Ceiling is ridiculous for this kid. And then third or second pick in the second round, number 63, you go Kyrie Jackson, corner out of Oregon. Great pick, in my opinion. I know Plus has a problem with his 75-year-old corner. Yeah, he's 100 years old. But you know what? That tells me he's seen it all. There's nothing he hasn't seen yet as an Oregon corner, and he plays in, the, he plays in that conference where they throw the ball all over the yard. So listen, I'm listen, confident dude. in that pick. Listen, Samer, I see, I see the bright side of things like Snake, right? He's so old, he's going to start collecting Social Security pretty early, so he's mm-hmm. not going to demand a huge contract. I love oh. it. He's going to save us money on the cap. It's great. I like this pick a lot, yeah. And then, then we go to the Glass Eaters. We go to the guys that, that Jason Light has basically built his draft backbone on since he arrived here. The Mason McCormick's of this world out of South Dakota State, a guard that's going to come in and immediately the, just the destroy him. The next yeah. Alley Marpet. Yeah, that's right. McCormick just sounds like a fucking dirty ass guard. Just yes. a it sounds like you're going to add some cheap seasoning. Hey, let me tell you guys, true story. This kid in high school used to work at his uncle's butcher shop. Okay? I mean, that tells you everything you need to know about him. JC say he can find a fucking guard in the middle of Dakota somewhere in a butcher shop. There we go. There he hey, is. I mean, his last name tells you everything. He comes from a long lineage of seasoning motherfuckers. And this kid comes in. He's seasoned. All right? He's, he's, he's already seasoned. He's throwing season on that run game, and that's what we need. Then we go wide receiver. Didn't and get a great grade on that one. Hmm. I wonder why. Malik, listen, we need we need what he brings. We need yeah. his skill set. Okay? PFF's not taking into account the new kickoff change. Bro. Yeah, yeah. This, this kid is plus, a little. Plus reminds us again. Nine nine four nine nine point nine nine RAS score from McCormick. Just just as a reminder. Hey yeah. hey uh, hey, hey plus, what's Malik Washington's RAS score? Come on, RAS it up. Not all these players have them if they don't do all the drills, by the way. Um, ben Sinat, 
Tight end, I think we, we oh, get a steal there. I, I, that's one of the best bit. tight ends in the draft, in my opinion. Obviously, he's behind Brock Bowers, but Brock Bowers great, who? great great value there at 125. We got back-to-back in round four. I mean, this draft is beautiful. And we end it round six, 220. And we get Isaiah Davis, who has asked familiarity with the man that we just talked about, McCormick. And he's a jackrabbit. He's a jackrabbit. Yeah, jackrabbit of all trades. Then we close Good it all out with a tackle out of USF, homegrown talent, uh, uh, a feel-good story to end the draft for us. Donovan Jennings coming on down, staying in town. Guys, I want to congratulate you. We did a great job. We did. You happiest guy in Tampa. Hey, Rashad hey, White. Mo- Rashad Mo- White Mo- running behind Jackson Powers and McCormick. Oh my God. He's got a little. He's got you know a guy in Isaiah Davis who can kind of spell him a little bit. He can mm-hmm. teach him you know the ropes. Michael Plus says Malik Washington. By the way. 8.57 reps. I mean, what are we talking about? That's got to be like yeah, mainly 85 percentile, right? I mean, that's that's ridiculous. Uh, uh, listen, this is the greatest draft. I believe we have put together the best NFL draft hall ever. You guys agree? I, I, I Listen, I like exactly what Jonas Steckler said. He said, put him at left guard, mock at right guard, and look the fuck out. I, the fuck I out. forgot to mention who's in between the, both those guys. You, for, I mean, the best part of sandwich is the inside. You know, yeah, that's yeah. the good shit, not the bread. We got some meat. Hours in between <laughs> those guys. Meat. Got some meat there. We got what? some meat. Okay, so hey, check it out. Those so, of you hey, who are new, I'm saying this by the way. Draft Rashad White. If it goes his way, draft Rashad White early in fantasy and yeah. often. Listen, for those of you who are new, if you enjoy this, hit the subscribe button, and everybody else, smash the fuck out of the like button. And if you don't like any one of these picks, which we will be posting to social media. Leave your comments in, 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 in or leave a comment in, in the comment section below. <laughs> Yell at us. Tell us we're stupid for taking Malik Washington or that you don't like Kyrie Jackson because Michael Pless has convinced you that he's smoking out of a bong in a video, whatever it may be. Okay. Michael Pless hates marijuana. Hates marijuana. Hates guys with last name Jackson, by the way, from what I've heard. What I've been told. <laughs> he does. That's all. Loves the f- guys with the first name Jackson. Hates the ones with Listen, the last name. I didn't want to be the guy to break this news, but I heard a rumor Michael Pless's last name was actually Jackson at one point. Hated it so much, he changed it to Pless, which, in my opinion, doesn't sound very cool at sense. all. But it makes sense why he's so down on the Kyrie Jackson pick, hey, even though hey, hey, PFF Tank. gave me a fucking B-plus for it. So, Thank real quick. What, what has been Jason Light's calling card as far as drafting and finding position late? I mean, we already know that he always finds those small school, small town guys. Right? That, he, that, he always that, finds that, the gems. As, as far as fat guys, right? Because I'm confused. King yeah. Cook says, stop with the D2, D3 lineman already. Fuck out of here. Mm. It's worked out quite a bit. I think that that would, <laughs> that would uh, be the case for a lot of teams, but not this one. Not, not Jason. Just... Not oh, offensive linemen and Jason Light. Dude. You're talking about a, a, a old university, in the, ner, 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 new university of Nebraska, little, little. black shirt, offensive lineman. Jason Light knows those corn-fed offensive linemen. He is one. All you need to know. Oh, and then King, King, King says, happy 420, everyone. Yes, please go to Desert Winds and shop. Shop there on 420. Oh, yeah. Shop the fuck out of it. Buy a bunch of shit. Good shit. Oh, we're having a party. We got a dispensary next door, so we're having a block party. That entire parking lot's going to be... Yeah. We got live it's, music. It's we got about to be trucks. recreationally. Rest, recreationally I can't talk right now. Uh, everybody smokes. Your grandma smokes, even if she doesn't tell you. Your grandfather definitely smoking. For your sure. mom, your dad, probably your 12-year-old kid. They're smoking, too. I'm gonna go smoke right now. I don't, you know, I don't condone it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go smoke and watch draft day because it's so bad that it's good, and I don't oh, give a fuck. God, I hate but it, it motivated right. me to go watch it. You pancake so fired you up. I think all everybody should watch this draft back. This show on YouTube. Dra- watch our draft again. Light one up. You know, bring bring. I mean, <laughs> they should be lighting up over. just just for that trade alone, guys. That we pulled off. <laughs> that shit was hot. I mean, come on, that was cigar worthy. That was blunt worthy. <laughs> That was get the nice bong off the top shelf worthy. Fill it up, get the percolation going, cause that and that was that was that was a hell of a fucking trade. It was awesome. All right, it doesn't I happen mean, without your good, assistance. Good draft, a minus. You know, there, that means there's some room for improvement. I can't wait till I draft next. Right? Am I next? Sure. Why not? Uh, so wait, I go last. What the fuck? I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna save my brown brother for last. It's better, right? We want to get the we want to get the garbage out of the way. Right? So wait, so wait, so wait, so wait. They're, they're gonna, you guys. Are, so I'm gonna do my draft on the fucking day of the draft. No, no, no. We, <laughs> no, we, we got ten days. We got ten days. Listen, yeah, we got listen. ten days to, listen, to cram in two shows, dude. Yeah, listen. If if I let if I let Stank go now or go next, 
obviously he's going to dip in quality. And then we can end it on a high note when you come in, close the fourth quarter out. I thought about that. Play point guard that. the right way for I me. All right. That. Make smart decisions, uh-huh. make good passes. I mean, that, that's well, how it works. It's very similar to my son. Like, well, you know, I'm coach, coaches basketball team now. Sam will be yeah. proud. We can never leave on a, on, on a miss. He's like, I can't leave. I got, I got to leave. On a what, is, what does everybody in the chat room predict my draft score is going to be? <laughs> I, don't to to anybody. I don't have to listen to anybody. You don't have to. No, you don't. We're going to give you our thoughts, and you don't have to listen. You're you right. do whatever the fuck you want to do. Any, whatever I want. Listen, I'm already thinking about. You almost going, went back-to-back edge, okay? Whatever, so. team, whatever team, like, the names rhyme the best. I'm just going to go with only rhyming names. What the fuck? Michael Pless says your draft is going to be the best thing. You know, Thank Pless, you. Pless. This, this is this is low key. Like, this, this is treason, bro. What's going on here? What's going on? He's pissed Saying? off because we drafted Jacksons. I'm telling you, he he was one of the Jackson Five. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. He hated his last name, and there he is now to hate. Yeah. Joda Joe, says, Joe Jackson Joda says, slap Michael Pless too. Yeah. Joda says, <laughs> what's, what's lower than an F for a grade for stink? What's lower than an F stink? Uh, I believe it would just be getting. Cut from the class. What's that called when you get just uh, straight up zero? What's it called when you get? Uh, I don't know. I haven't been in college in years. Who knows what that? <laughs> Stank is powerful as Elon Musk. He's getting A plus plus on his draft. I gotta get the foot phone ready. Make the calls. <laughs> oh, foot God. phone. All right, let's wrap this shit up. Hey, oh. thank you so much for watching. This was crazy. This is actually pretty fun. This ended up being amazing, though. Ended up being very fun, guys. I want to thank both of you guys for allowing us to put together a trade that was amazing. Yep. Hey, you guys came in. Came in clutch, Latte, you especially, right hand man, consiglier, unbelievable assistant GM. You're going to be a great GM one day, okay? Stank. And in, in, in about six days, I'm going to be in about six GM. days. Yeah, that's right. Maybe, maybe four days, maybe, maybe two four. days. I mean, let's maybe do another one on Thursday. I think we should do another one on Thursday. I'm down. Let's go. Let's do, let's do We're doing my draft on Thursday. We're doing Tune your draft in. on Thursday. That's Tune right. in for the best draft you've ever seen with Mr. Old Hands Barefoot. Yeah, and then we'll do lattes on Monday. Perfect. All right, we'll see you guys next Thursday for another seven-round mock draft. We're next Stank Thursday. Bastard. I mean, this Thursday. What are you talking about next Thursday? This Thursday. Stank Bastard draft. This Thursday. This Thursday, Thursday. and then you're next Monday. You said Thursday. next Thursday, though. Oh, my bad. Oh, my, my bad. Thank you, ass Thursday. Darius says. <laughs> you got the month yeah. wrong, and you said, we'll see you guys next Thursday. I'm like, that's yeah. the actual we're draft. We're in March. <laughs> you, you guys don't know we're still in March. We got months March. before the draft, all right? <laughs> We're still on spring break. That, that explains a lot, by the way, what's going on. Oh, here. Grizz with the insert, the reggaeton air horn. Boys, my beard is looking so good right now. I can't stop looking at myself. Go, Buck. Jeez.